action. Here we are. I'm with Loris Deggiani, CTO, founder of Sysdig, talking us through your security approach. And in particular, what are you going to show us today? Yeah, I, I'm going to do a little demo of okay. Sysdig Secure, our security product. And Sysdig Secure really covers the full life, life cycle of uh, modern cloud-native, containerized, uh, cloud-based applications okay. from the security point of view. But I want to focus a little bit, since the product is broad and we don't have a lot of time, on what we do on the runtime side uh, of security okay. and how we tie it to vulnerability management. Excellent, excellent. Let's take a look. All right, so here we have uh, our Insights user interface. And this is a great way to get an overview of uh, your infrastructure and uh, essentially start understanding you know, where you have security issues. Uh, like for example, here we're seeing different clusters you know, in different clouds. This one is on Amazon, this one is for example is in, in, in GKE. And for example here, you know, if we hover with the mouse, we can see that we have a, a storefront uh, application here. And it's a little bit suspicious because I have 13 terminal shells in container here. And this storefront should be, you know, like a, an immutable. So we have something a little curious exactly, here. Exactly, right? So let's click on it and let's try to figure out, you know, and I can, you know, drill down into this uh, terminal sharing container and I can see the individual alerts. Uh -huh. I can click on one of them uh -huh. and, you know, the details, what I need to essentially figure out exactly what's happening. But All right. typically, okay, you know, this is bad. Clearly somebody starting shells in my storefront. That's not good. That's but not good. I want to learn more, right? And what I can do with Sysdig is I can click on respond and I can view the activity audit. And now I'm essentially projected inside this container and I can see all of the files that have been opened, all of the network connections and also the commands. So let's filter only the commands and we can see now what's happened, you know? There was a, a bash in this container then somebody is curling a malware. And then we can see it's uh, unzipped in, uh, uh, in, in my machine. And then, you know, the attacker is trying to cover their uh, traces by shredding essentially the bash history. So as you can see, Sysdig allows you to go from a high level view of uh, what's running in your infrastructure, even in a multi-cloud fashion, but with few clicks, I could go from a suspicious event down to actually truly understanding what's happening. And that's one of the magics of Sysdig, you know, the kind of data and context that we have and that allow you to do this kind of investigations and detections very quickly and How in quickly? a very intuitive way. How quickly yeah. can you do that? Yeah, as you can see, uh, it's very often yeah. a matter of three, four clicks, you know? Yeah. So just a matter of a few seconds. Which is all the time, which is what the, that's what you really need. Exactly. Because they may be in there already. Exactly, they might be in and you, you want to react, you want to detect and you want to react fast. Because every second, you know, when you're in a situation like this, is actually important to protect yeah. your infrastructure, to protect your applications, to protect your data. Right. And of course, time is... Uh, extremely important also when you're managing uh, your vulnerabilities, right? So one thing that I hear on and on and on from people that, you know, I talk to that are involved with security, especially modern cloud native security is I'm drowning in vulnerabilities. You know, I do supply chain security, I do vulnerability management, I do container image scanning. I try to uh, establish these practices for my developers. It's just too much, you know? So what I want to show you is how we leverage this kind of information that we see on the screen, this granular activity yeah, yeah. of the applications to help prioritize vulnerability management, okay? So let's go to vulnerabilities and runtime. And here I can see namespace by namespace, you know, what is running and how secure it is, how many vulnerabilities I have here, right? So let's pick something, for example, I don't know, my DNS uh, stuff, and I can see here, that uh, the Cube DNS has seven critical vulnerabilities. 14 high, seven medium, five low, 44 negligible. So, which, 14. Which, which, ones, which ones 
should I worry about here, you know? Yeah. So SysDig has this concept of emus. So we're able to tell you, of all of these, there's three that you have actually ah. loaded in memory. So we, at runtime, ah. we look at your application running, we analyze which libraries are loaded, which files are touched, with which commands are run, and so on. And we're, we're able to tell you, okay, of these many tens of vulnerabilities, these three are in memory. Boom, are actually in memory. And these are the ones that, if you have to prioritize something, focus on these ones, because these ones are exploitable right now by somebody because you're actually running software that is in this namespace and is using these vulnerabilities. Because they can just access that very easily if it's in memory. Exactly. So that's a very unique in SysDig. Essentially, we're able to marry the runtime knowledge about what your applications are actually doing with the scans that we do for vulnerabilities. And we're able to decrease by essentially two magnitude orders the number of vulnerabilities that people have to deal with, at least with high priority. And that's one feature that essentially everybody in our product is like, wow, I need this today, yeah. you know? Yeah, they really want that because, well, let's speak to the maturity of Kubernetes because more people are like deploying Kubernetes and managing Kubernetes, but it's still relatively new to a lot of people. That's correct. The paradigms are new, the approaches are new, and even just uh, in term, terms of uh, you know, finding vulnerabilities is great that now you can tie this to the CICD pipeline, for example. But if you're not able to prioritize, it immediately becomes overwhelming. So what we're trying to do here is uh, essentially sort of decrease the barrier a little bit for people and making this more digestible and also more secure by actually focusing on what's really important in, instead of a million things that maybe are not that much important. With this then, how do you see engineers and teams using this approach then once they're able to discover these vulnerabilities very quickly? So normally, um, what you want to do is, uh, uh, well, vulnerability management, typically, you want to plug it in as many places as possible in your CI CD pipeline. So this goes from uh, uh, scanning, uh, for example, on the repositories where the images you know, are created when you build your software, to being able to use this information to potentially block through, for example, Kubernetes, Kubernetes admission controllers, images to go in production if they contain to some of these vulnerabilities. But then there's also the concept of runtime. So now, for example, in this page, we're seeing the vulnerabilities that are actually at runtime. So what happens is you have drift, right? You have new vulnerabilities that appear. So you have a piece of software, you have one of your image that has maybe run for two weeks in, in your production environments and it, you thought it was safe, and now there's a new CV for that. So it's also important to scan the way we're seeing on the screen here continuously, you know, and uh, being able to intercept this kind of drift and, and be able to correct it. And depending on where you do this, this scanning, you can either block it at build phase, you can block it at execution phase, or you can put in place remediations, for example, opening pull requests to close the loop and go back essentially to, to where the software was packaged and defined and created. Well, Loris, thank you so much for taking the time to, to show us this and giving us a little bit of a perspective on the ways that these types of issues can be mitigated. My pleasure and thanks for having me. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the major social media platforms. You can always find us at thenewstack.io. We hope to see you soon.